Yes, shouted the queen, pumping the air with her fists. Just then the door flew open. In marched the seven dwarfs, home from the day's work. Shocked indeed they were to find Snow White lying on the floor and what must be her stepmother beside her, laughing. They chased that evil queen out the door and into the storm. Up to the very top of a mountain they chased her. All of a sudden, lightning hit the mountain. The queen fell, and she was never seen again. But there was nothing to help poor Snow White. She stayed absolutely still in her deep sleep. The seven dwarfs gently lifted her into a glass coffin. Day and night they kept watch over her. One day, the prince happened to pass through. Ever since he had learned that Snow White was missing at the castle, he was searching for her, far and wide. Now he had finally found her, but in such a state. The prince pulled open the glass coffin. Her face seemed so fresh, even in that deep sleep. He gently took one of Snow White's hands in his own and kissed it. At once, Snow White's eyes opened. With love's first kiss, the evil queen's spell was forever gone. Now nothing stood in the way for Snow White and the prince to be together forever. They returned to the prince's kingdom and lived happily ever after. He gently took one of Snow White's hands in his own and kissed it. At once, Snow White's eyes opened. With love's first kiss, the evil queen's spell was forever gone. Now nothing stood in the way for Snow White and the prince to be together forever. They returned to the prince's kingdom and lived happily ever after.